welcome dear students how are you i hope you are all fine today we are going to discuss about a very important topic of english grammar now you have to complete these sentences i have written five examples so if you want to complete these sentences you have to use a or n or the now you have understood today we are going to discuss about articles so let's complete these sentences the first example is i met the answer will be a now she is mbbs this is an abbreviated form the answer will be n now iqbal is an engineer he is the best student of the class okay number 5 is he is an honest person so dear students actually we have to remember something this is going to be very important so dear students actually these five sentences actually give five different rules on articles as we are discussing about articles i am not going to give any elaborate discussion on the definition of article because you have studied article in class 6 and class 7 first we will revise some rules which are comparatively easy then we shall discuss about some difficult rules or confusing items so now the first sentence is i met a european why this is a because the sound the sound is u we know that the sound is u then the article will be a so in the second sentence she is an mbbs this is an abbreviated form bachelor of medicine bachelor of surgery so the sound is vowel sound that's why n third example iqbal is an engineer here it is vowel that's why n and we know that before any rank or profession we can use a or n so n is used because there is a vowel he is the best student of the class why there is the because this is superlative form we know that before superlative form we have to use the the last one is he is an honest person see there is consonant but the sound is honest giving vowel sound that's why n is there now the most important thing if you want to say which will be a or which will be n it basically depends on sound so this is the most important thing that you must remember so for using a or n sound is very important that means if you give consonant sound if you get consonant sound you will use a or n n for vowel sound a for consonant sound so sound is very important no matter what what is the letter here important is sound so we know that a or n this is indefinite article we know that the this is definite article and we have discussed five rules so from these five examples we have discussed or we have revised some rules which are very important and which are very comparatively easy dear yes, students today we are going to tell you something is very very important remember articles are of course parts of speech because each and every article actually qualifies a noun see it is a noun disqualifying noun it is also qualifying a 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 noun that's why articles are as a tip because it qualifies noun another thing that i must say in modern english grammar this a or n or d these are known as determiners now we will try to discuss about some very important rules on articles dear students you must remember when we are talking about indefinite article a or n so one is very important when we are discussing about the that is important because it has give it has given you know similar kind of sound like that so the when we are talking about a or n actually it is forming something one that's why when we are talking about a or n it is forming something like one and we are talking about the it is actually forming giving similar kind of meaning of that now we will discuss about the important rules on articles use of a or n 
So the first rule says that a or n is used when proper noun X as a common noun. This example, Nuzrul Islam is our national poet. Here the name is mentioned. It is a proper noun. But look at this example. You are a Nuzrul, I see. Here Nuzrul becomes common noun because I am actually talking about the talent or the genius of Nuzrul. I am using it as a common platform. That's why Nuzrul is common noun here in this sentence. So according to this rule, A or N is used when proper noun acts as a common noun. Here Nuzrul is no more a proper noun. Here Nuzrul is proper noun. So according to the activity, it becomes proper. According to the activity, it becomes common. Number two, A or N is used when, when an abstract noun becomes a common noun Helen was a beauty was a beauty so the rule is we can use a or n when an abstract noun becomes a common noun beauty Basically or fundamentally this is an abstract noun, but here actually Helen was a beauty That means we are actually talking about the beauty of Helen, you know Helen of Troy. She's in the peak as far as Beauty is concerned. That's why the beauty of Helen has been symbolized in a common platform That's why beauty here is no more an abstract noun. It becomes a common noun Number three, a is used as a disguise preposition. Example, he has gone a hunting. So we know the students preposition can be classified into six ways and disguise preposition is one of them. Disguise means it is hidden, it is not actually focused or you cannot see it but it is actually working silently. So here he has gone a hunting, actually here article is used a but it is acting as on. So on is a preposition, before now we know that preposition is a relating word, actually it is relating but we are using a in the guise of on. So here we have used disguise preposition in the form of article. That's why we can use article before a disguise preposition. Now some important rules of on the use of the. So the students here, article B is used before choir, orchestras or pop group. We know Miles is a very popular and very famous band group of Bangladesh. So before this kind of name, we can use the, the Miles, the LRB, the Nagar Baul, some examples like this. Number two, 
D is used when common noun acts as an abstract noun. Now the example is check the beast in you. So here D is used when common noun becomes an abstract noun or X as an abstract noun. Example is check the beast in you. Actually I am talking about the animalistic behavior, animalistic instinct of you. I am referring this. That's why we have used D and the beast is no more acting as a common noun it becomes an abstract noun. That's why D can be used before a noun especially when common noun becomes an abstract noun. So dear students, the is used before earth or moon, the earth. No article is used that means cross before the name of any planet, Mars, Earth. The question is I have used the here for Earth, I have used the here for Earth. The problem is when I am talking about the Earth and I am relating myself this, that this is my abode, this is my living place, that means I am relating myself, in that case the is used. But when I am talking about a planet, then there will not be any article I mean we have to put a cross before earth for example earth is the third closest pla planet so here I am talking about the earth as the planet so here no article is used that means there will be cross so we have to put cross over here and we have to use the over there so according to use actually the or cross will be used in this kind of sentences So now the topic is use of the and omission of articles. We will see in some cases the is used for one purpose and another purpose there is no the. That means there will be cross, there will not be any article. So let's give, let's see some examples. It's very important. Dear students, you have to memorize these words bed, mosque, church, hospital, prison, school, college, university or court. Example, I go to, we cannot put any article over here school every day. Why? The reason is I am going there for my primary purpose. I am a student so I should go to school. So this is not that important. As a student I should go to school this kind of habitual fact. But example number two I went to die school to talk to the class teacher. That means I am going there for a particular reason. I am not a regular visitor of school. I am going there only to talk to the class teacher. That means I have a special purpose. So, if there is a special purpose, you can use article before this. If there is a very usual reason, primary purpose, then you, we cannot put any article before this kind of words. That means we have to put a cross. For a special location, that means for special geographical location, before the name of any country, we give the, the Ukraine. This is the name of a country. For special reason, for special geographical location, we are giving the. And plural names of the country, see Maldives, Netherlands is there, plural. Maldives is there, we cannot say Maldives, wrong. We cannot say Netherlands, wrong. We have to say Netherlands or Maldives. So before the name of any plural form, that is, that is the form is in plural, but this is the name of any country, we have to give the, we have to give the. Remember dear students, we discussed so far three rules based on the names of different countries. 
for geographical location it is changing for plural names it is changing for writing united it is changing for writing union it is changing but usually we should not use any article before the name of any country for example before the name of bangladesh before the name of india before the name of pakistan we cannot use any article there will be always cross so we are using articles for special reason for special geographical location for other so now dear students we would like to sum up today we have discussed some very usual rules which we have practiced in class 6 and 7 and some important rules actually where the students make mistakes Dear students, you must remember that in your final exam, you will not get this kind of scattered sentence where you have to put a or n or the or cross. There will be a particular passage. You have to go through the passage line by line. Then you have to understand actually which rule should be applied over there. So if you know these rules of article, where you have to use a, where you have to use n, where you have to use the and where you don't need to use any article, that means where you have to use you have to put a cross. If you know these rules, then you can solve this question very easily. Now I am going to give you a homework. So dear students, this will be your homework. Fill in the gaps with A or N or the and put a cross where no article is needed. So I have given a passage and this is how the question will be in your final exam. Truthfulness is dash greatest of all virtues which makes dash man really great. If we do not cultivate the habit of speaking dash truth, we cannot command, command dash confidence of dash others. That means you have to use a, n, the or cross in this passage. dear students you can copy this homework and you can do the homework at home and you can show it to your teacher when there will be regular classes dear students you can get this video in kishore batayan